so this is all interconnected. Yeah, I don't really recognize this map from the first original. I mean, from the first map from the original game. I think he probably expanded upon it. Still looks good though. So yeah, you know, this is just like a good example of how to make a really good custom geo map. Is this the secret level? I think this is the secret level. Yeah, there's like a little gray skull. Unfortunately, I might miss it because I have no idea. Oh, he actually tells you? Because I remember when I first played his original map, I actually... I think I found all the secrets because, you know, it. I think it was a lot more familiar than what I. It just seemed a lot more familiar for me, but this totally feels a little different. Well, not a little different. It, it kind of gives me some of that deja vu, but not really. But it's kind of cool that he does kind of like um, tell you where the secrets are and you find them secret exit so I remember this fight at least from like the his first remake it was pretty intense <coughs> yep this definitely looks more similar to like the you know Wolfenstein 3d variant because he actually used a hell module in the original one I mean in his first attempt but it's still like a really good idea though what is it was there like a secret here Or wait, or was it on this side? I don't remember. Or is he making it more obvious? We're gonna have to see here. But this does look nice. Oh no, <laughs> the extra flickering. It happens because you put the player blocking volume too far out the grid module. Oh wow, oh look at this, this is so nice. Really cool. So he decided to kind of like, you know, add some more decoration. Make you feel like you're in a freaking castle. Although I never really felt like I was in the castle in the original. I mean the first level. Alright. So... This feels a lot like Doom 2's, you know, Easter egg. I wonder if the Mancubus has like enhanced health. I think he probably does. Alright. Alright, hopefully I don't choke here, you know, still trying to get used to this setup. What the hell? Wrong weapon. Where's my rockets? Uh, let's, let's save that. Ouch. So this is kind of like how you can make like a challenging fight if you don't increase like the damage like I do. You can just try to like, you know, throw in a bunch of enemies in like a wide open arena to kind of like give, you know, players a challenge. But even for me, it's still not really that challenging if you really know how to dodge them properly. Alright, so just pretty much killing stuff. Are they respawning? 
Because holy crap, I swear, I feel like I'm fighting like the same amount of enemies here. And there's like no ammo, that's another thing. I hope they're not infinitely respawning until like I kill the kill the Mancabus. I'll pro probably try to kill the Mancabai here. Maybe they are infinitely respawning. Which is just annoying because I played like, you know, another map that had like respawns. Oh god, I have no idea how much health these guys have. I really want to get the... what do you call it? But I don't want to at the same time. Okay, they're not respawning. Alright, let's get it. Oh, whoa, are they walking through the... <coughs> so this fight is definitely more challenging than I thought. Alright, let's just... Let's use this gun now. The chain gun's actually really good in campaign. And in snap map, it's still pretty good, but it's definitely not the same. It's amazing against the Barons in campaign. That's good. Oh! <laughs> yep, it's just like the original Wolfenstein 3D. So this was a good level. I definitely enjoyed this. I think I preferred this first one though. But it's still kind of cool that he remade the map again and tried to take advantage of the you know new updates. But still though, this is definitely a good remake. I do recommend both of his um you know E1 M1 and I think it's E1 M A. I'm not really sure if if it's E1 M or it's E1 L, but whatever it is, you know. I definitely recommend both of these remakes. They are fun to play. Oh wow, I'm in second place. Eh, whatever. I really don't care about like, you know, my leaderboards. I it's just there, you know, just for an extra. But yeah, that's it for episode two, and stay tuned for episode three. I'm still not re really sure what I'm gonna call this little series, but eventually I'll come up with a name.